Hey, this is the transformer and you can see how all these parts are getting connected with each other. In this video, we are going to learn different parts of transformer, what is the importance of each part, why that part is getting connected in transformer and what material is used to construct that part. So the full in detail construction of transformer with animation is provided in this video. So with all this information, without wasting time, let's quickly get started. The first component of transformer is winding and this is the heart of transformer. This winding is either made up of copper material or aluminium material. Most of the time it is made up of copper material but when the cost is important factor, aluminium can be chosen. In winding, either a rounded wire conductor is used or a strip conductor is used. When the rating of transformer is small, round wire conductor are used and when the rating is larger, when more current is going to flow from the conductor, instead of round wire conductor, a copper strip is being preferred. The purpose of this winding is to produce magnetic field and to get induced EMF. The purpose of primary winding is to produce magnetic field and the purpose of secondary winding is to induce EMF in it. So from this we know that there are two windings and how to identify which one is primary winding and which one is secondary winding. So the winding which is connected to the source is known as the primary winding and the winding which is connected to the load is known as the secondary winding. With this there are two more names low voltage winding and high voltage winding. And the next is transformer core. This core material looks like this. There are two sections of the core. One is known as limb and the another one is known as yoke. The horizontal section is known as yoke and the vertical section is known as limb. The transformer core material is made up of silicon steel material and a thin laminated sheets of silicon steel material are clubbed together to create a core of transformer. Let me show you that. So this is how each laminated sheets of silicon steel material are clubbed together and then with hydraulic press they compressed and they creates a solid form and on this the winding of transformer is being done and it is looks like this. So this is how the transformer core forms. Now the main purpose of this transformer core is to carry a magnetic flux from primary to secondary and from secondary to primary. This modern transformer core's permeability is 1500 times than air. So it is so strong in transferring magnetic flux than air. From this there can be two types of transformer core type or shell type. First of all we'll see core type transformer. The winding arrangement and the structure of core type transformer looks like this. The core is in center and the winding is outside. In core type there are two windings LV winding and HV winding. LV winding are generally wound inside and the HV winding are wound outer side. Because of the insulation issues HV winding is always wound on outside and LV winding is always wound on inside. Now what type of laminations are used in the core type transformer? The laminations are used that is of L type. So first of all the combination of this L type laminated sheets are clubbed together and then the winding is placed on it like this. First LV winding and then HV winding and the same way on another side. First is LV winding and then HV winding. And then finally both the sections will be clubbed together to create a core type transformer. Now we'll see shell type transformer. In shell type transformer the winding and core arrangement looks like this. So basically the difference is winding is in inside and the core is in outside. In core type winding is in outside and the core was in inside. So in this shell type transformer the arrangement is same LV winding is inside and the HV winding is outside. 
the lamination material used in this core is look like this e and i so ei lamination is used in shell type transformer initially the lv winding is wound and then the hv winding is wound then e and i shapes clubs together and that will forms a shell type transformer so this is how this core and shell type transformer are created so this is what inside of the transformer and now we'll see what is on outside of the transformer the outside of transformer is its body which is known as the outer body of transformer this outer body of transformer is used to protect the core and winding from outer conditions the another purpose of this outer body is to behave as transformer oil container because all the transformer winding and its core is submerged into the oil and that is placed inside this outer body one more use of this outer body is to provide support for all the accessories there are so many accessories mounted with the transformer and all those were connected through this outer body basically this outer body is constructed of rolled steel material to provide a strength to the outer body we have seen the purpose of this body and now we'll going to look inside so just remove this body and look what is inside so on the base a core and winding is being mounted like this here we are using the example of three phase transformer you can see here this is the core material and there are three windings r winding y winding and b winding the light red color represent lv winding of the r phase and dark red color represents the hv winding of r phase and the same way in y phase and b phase light color represents lv winding and dark color represents hv winding to connect this internal winding or coil to outer conductor we require terminal or bushings and this terminal and bushings are provided on the top of the transformer so now let us discuss about the terminal or bushing over here the terminals you can see they are low voltage terminals or bushings and the main purpose of this bushing is to provide barrier between conductor and outer body you know generally the lv winding is connected into star manner and hv winding is connected in delta manner so first of all i'll show you the connection the r winding is connected to bushing like this y is connected like this and b is connected like this and the common of all these three is connected to another bushing like this and that common conductor creates neutral wire in transformer when the r is connected at this point the connection passes from inside this terminal or bushing and reaches on top at top side some external conductor comes and get connected to this bushing and this is how this inside conductor is connected with the outer connection and this bushing behaves as insulator or a barrier between the body and the conductor now if we talk about the high voltage side then the high voltage terminal or bushing are little larger inside because of its voltage level the connection of hv is in delta so let me show you the delta connection r and y are club together and creates r phase y and b club together and creates y phase and b and r club together and creates b phase so this is how the r y b connection in delta is formed basically these bushings are made up of porcelain material or epoxy resin now we'll remove this complex connection diagram to understand upcoming things in the transformer the next thing in the transformer is transformer oil so first of all let's fill this tank with the oil and yeah it is ready the main aim of transformer oil is to provide insulation the second aim of this transformer oil is to dissipate the heat when current is flowing through this conductor this conductor is getting heated and this transformer oil absorbs that heat and releases in atmosphere but this work is been done using this radiators or also known as outer fins when this winding got heated oil surrounded this winding will absorb the heat from the conductor 
when the oil becomes hot it will go upward side and the cool oil comes downward side the hot oil enters this radiator and passes through these long channels when it passes through these long channels it dissipates its heat into the atmosphere and it's cooled down and reaches to this bottom and likewise it will keeps on circulating in this transformer and absorb all the heat from this windings and releases it in atmosphere generally this transformer oil is either of naphthenic oil or paraffinic oil you know what from transformer oil color you can identify that whether this oil is usable or not let me show you that example if the color of oil is pale yellow color then it is good conditioned oil if it is bright yellow looks like this then it should be serviced or filtered or recycled but if the color of oil is brown then that is bad condition of oil we should replace that oil but if the transformer oil color is black we must scrap it it is not usable oil so through the color you can identify the condition of oil and now we'll move for the next the next is conservator tank the conservator tank is basically mounted on the top side of the transformer like this in between transformer and conservator tank there is a bucos relay but in this video we are not going to understand anything about bucos relay we'll having a separate video on bucos relay and then we'll study its operation working and why it is connected over there but guys till now if you are enjoying this video then do not forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel because to create this type of video it requires lot of effort and to appreciate this effort i wish you should give one like and if you enjoy it then only subscribe so now let's move ahead this conservator tank is also filled with oil on this conservator tank there is a level indicator which indicates the level of oil inside that conservator tank there is adequate space for oil to expand and what is the reason behind this when this transformer is working it gets heated and because of that heat gases produces in the transformer and because of that the oil level increases or decreases so when more gases releases in the transformer the oil level increases and because of that increased oil level it should have some space to expand and with this expansion there is another device which is very much useful in this expansion and contraction and that is the breather it is like nose of transformer the breather is connected with the conservator tank like this this is the pipe of breather and this is main breather of transformer the purpose of this breather is to absorb the moisture in the air mainly a silica gel is placed inside the breather and the purpose of the silica gel is to absorb the moisture when the silica gel is of blue color it is fresh and it is ready to absorb all the moisture but when its color is changed from blue to pink it is saturated pink silica gel cannot absorb any moisture further so when that is the case we should replace the silica gel and fill it with new when the expansion in oil occurs the oil level increases and the additional air will move outside from this silica gel but when the contraction happens fresh air enters to the line and reaches to the conservator tank and when this fresh air entering this air contains moisture and this moistured air passes through the silica gel and in this area the silica gel absorbs the moisture from the air and then only air without moisture enters to the conservator tank the main purpose of doing this thing is if the air has moisture in it then that moisture get mixed with this oil and that moistured oil will be having less dielectric strength and that can create inter turn short circuit and many other issues in the transformer 
So to avoid all those issues, silica gel performs the main task of absorbing moisture from the air. The next thing is very important and it is a kind of providing protection to the transformer. That is the explosion vent. The explosion vent is provided on the top of the transformer. The purpose of this explosion vent is to provide emergency exit to the oil or gases in the transformer. In case of any fault condition, sudden pressure is created because of that released gases or expansion of oil. To release that pressure, this explosion vent is provided. This explosion vent is provided little higher to the conservator tank. When too much pressure is created in transformer, the diaphragm provided into the explosion vent get vanished and oil and gas can release this through this explosion vent and it will protect the transformer from further damage. So this is how the full transformer is constructed. If you want to learn the working of transformer with animation then you can check out this video. There I am explaining full working of transformer with animation and if you want to learn anything else about electrical machines then you must visit my channel's page. So until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye.